politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Uh, President Museveni has insisted that his votes were changed in the Kampala metropolitan area during the 2021 presidential elections. Museveni made the revelation while meeting a section of Kampala NRM village leaders at Kololo ceremonial grounds in Kampala. Uh, commenting on the performance of the party in power, Museveni claimed that the NRM party was rigged out. Now, President Museveni, in his own words, he said, I had heard about the rigging of elections in Kampala. I heard that even my votes were changed. That came from uh, the office of uh, the national chairman, which was supposed to appoint agents per village and fight those wars. But I don't know what happened. <laughs> this guy is so amusing. But anyway, that is Judge uh, President Museveni commenting on his performance in the previous presidential elections right here in Kampala. <laughs> Well, in Mitiana district yesterday, Uganda police and the military blocked the NUP Women's Day celebrations organized by the area members of parliament, Horrible Joyce Bagala and David Kaluanka. Uh, police used tear gas, water cannons and uh, live bullets to disperse the people who had gathered. Many NUP supporters were arrested, but in the same district, there was another event organized by Minister Nabakova. But guess what? Police did not disorganize them. Uh, we don't want to go into the gymnastics of uh, how the leadership has disagreed, but what we know is as security, we know of one venue. And I think this is why many Ugandans on uh, different social media platforms have concluded that we don't have Uganda police, but NRM police a very partisan institution of government we have right here. DPC himself is the one who sprayed me with his pepper. And I'm very surprised. Do you know when they wanted to arrest me? They wanted a man to arrest me. And I told them, a man cannot arrest me. Another child has been electrocuted in Kasese municipality. The electrocution brings the toll to three children in the district since January this year. Julia Bira was a 16-year-old P7 pupil at Ifant Preparatory School in Kasese Municipality and she died on the spot. Uh, Kasese Division Police Commander Wilfred Bagenda attributed the incident to bad weather because uh, the deceased reportedly stepped on a live electric wire that had been brought down during a heavy downpour. May her soul rest in peace. Now, a section of uh, the NRM party members have tasked the leadership of the party to guide the members on the official party position with regard to the political activities of uh, General Mohonzi Kainerugaba, President Museveni's son, who has signaled interest for the topmost seat in the land for which he has held countrywide tours. Uh, so far, no clarification has been offered by the party leadership, uh, but of course, I'll be keeping you posted right here on uh, the Buzz UG. <laughs> Well, finally, for now, the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Mong, yesterday in Parliament, forced the Minister of State for Sports, the Honorable Peter Gwang, to apologize to the country for letting the Uganda cranes play their home match with Tanzania in Egypt. Uh, the Minister regretted on behalf of the Ministry of Education and Sports and uh, promised that the next match for Uganda cranes will be held right here in Kampala at the Mandela National Stadium. <laughs> Well, that is the latest update on the Buzz UG. And in case you have anything you want to say about these stories, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Amela Zmilo, a.k.a. Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.